Nice to have your company on this edition of Racing to Win. Let's uh, press on and take a look at the lineup for this Class 3 1200 metres race 7 on the turf. And number one can't stop the feeling, a former Kiwi galloper trained by Chris Wood. Sun sitting to my left, so we'll get the mail from Tom shortly on how he's expected to go first up. Cruising's a very talented horse who's had a lot of uh, soundness issues throughout his short career. King of Hearts, Endearing, Solar Why Why. Victorian looked very strong at the end of last term, winning a couple together. Bethany, Invincible Missiles, another one that looks progressive. Top military, a debutante. He's been here for quite some time. He's had a lot of soundness issues. Triumphant Arch, fantastic Fabio for Joe Marrera. And Lyle Hewitson rides Supreme Patrol. Uh, just on Lyle Hewitson, he'll ride on Sunday and then he'll take a four meeting ban here in Hong Kong, which is referred on from his time in South Africa uh, prior to coming to Hong Kong. There was a, a stay of proceedings. You can get all that information on the Jockey Club website, but he will ride Sunday and then he's out for four. Can't stop this feeling. Cruising, endearing Bethany and fantastic Fabio have all been at Chun Fa. Now the speed, Tom, uh, the newcomers, probably not up there in the early firing line. I don't think there'll be any trouble with the speed up front. You've got Triumphant Arch who was able to uh, lead last start, couldn't go on with the Victorium set uh, handy. He's now a uh, two from three. Cruising was able to be forward last time out. We know fantastic Fabio's racing pattern. Top military uh, was uh, up handy on the speed in a recent barrier trial. So uh, he's drawn wide out in gate number 12. He might not be able to get in, but I think there should be plenty of genuine pace. He's the first starter. Can't stop the feeling. The hood goes on him on debut. He's 11.78 pounds. Uh, he's had two trials. Uh, to get him ready here and does come with some good form from New Zealand. So there he is there, can't stop the feeling. Uh, Invincible Missile, he ran some good races last season. He looks quite well forward to run a really good race here. Zach Purton aboard from Barry number four. Just a nice easy piece of work from him, but he was very impressive when he did win fresh up last season. He won by lengths. And uh, Triumphal Arch, he's quite a speedy horse. Uh, early on, he'll go straight to the front. He's only had the three starts. He seems to have improved a little bit in the off-season, uh, and Alfred Chan will take all that weight off his back, so he's going to have a really light weight coming into this race. That is uh, the fact, Paul, no doubt about that. Let's start with Solar Waiwa, who's done very little wrong so far in his short career, son of Snitzel. Seven starts in his opening prep last season. The winner of two, he had a couple of seconds, a third and a fourth. Rarely ran a bad race. He was slightly balked for rumoured about the 400 metres in that uh, effort. We know he's got plenty of ability. He was able to win uh, three starts ago over 1,400 metres over Craig Starr. He's got form behind uh, Champions Way as well. Made good ground in a recent barrier trial, I thought, from the rear. Uh, also, when he ran sixth, uh, I don't think he'd be far away in this. We know he's got plenty of ability. No, definitely. I've got him in the, in the numbers as well. He, he, as you mentioned, he ran, placed mm. fresh up last time. Then he did win second up. Uh, just whether he just needs one or not, but yeah. uh, everything else looks good for him. I get the feeling he might go out a little bit over the odds too, Solar mm -hmm. YY potentially, because it is quite a strong class three, or there's a lot of interest in it with some debutantes and some others that look quite smart, including this one, Victorium. First up, he ran seventh behind Flying Victory, started two to one favourite. Um, he finished seventh on that occasion, but since then, Yosemite Sam style, bang, bang, a couple of wins. Yeah, I made him the best bet that day he got beaten too. <laughs> you should have stuck with him, Paul. Uh, the, I did actually, to be fair, but, did. He, but I didn't make him a best. But look, he keeps improving. I did that in the fact on debut because he looked really good in his track work. He did go out favourite and did get beaten, but then he showed what he was worth these last two starts. I think he's going to be tough. He to won be. with the class in hand there, Tom. Yeah, he certainly did. You could see Aldo looking around uh, a long way out, looking at the big screen, waving to the crowd. Uh, not tested in a recent trial as well, when he ran fourth was a good effort. Well, I mentioned uh, Can't Stop the Feeling, a former Kiwi galloper who ran second in the Auckland Guineas, was trained in New Zealand by Chris Wood. Chad Schofield takes the ride. Chad can't stop the feeling, former New Zealand horse. You rode him in a trial at Chungfa. What was your impression of him that morning? Yeah, I liked him. Obviously, he's come um, with good form. He's got a really high rating to kick off his career in Hong Kong. Um, he's definitely going to improve with the run, but he is a nice horse. He's got nice early speed. Um, and, yeah, I think later on in his preparation, hopefully he can do something. So first up, top weight... Um what are your sort of expectations? What would be a pass mark for him, do you think? Oh, it's hard to say, but um, obviously it's never easy for a horse first start in, in, in where he is with his rating. But he is a very, really nice horse, I will say that. And um, pass mark would just be um, you know, somewhere in the money, hopefully. 
All right, we've heard from Chad Schofield. Let's hear from Tom Wood now. Tom, what's the mail from the old man? Well, he's, he's a fairly decent horse. He's got form behind, uh, well, in front of Crown Prosecutor, who came out and won the New Zealand Derby. Arrogant, who's now here with uh, Casper Founds. He ran around mm. with him. Arrogant was uh, fourth in the New Zealand Derby, second in the Rose Hill Guineas. Uh, racing the Levin Classic last time out, just swamped over the final stages when he was able to run second in the Auckland Guineas. He was headed late uh, by Shirley Sacred, who's here with Frankie Law now. So I think there's some good enough form from him. I think the trial up at Chungfa was all right. Is he ready first up, Paul? There was a question mark, isn't it? He's obviously a really nice horse, but mm. you just you take a little what Chad said there. He says he's going to be a really nice horse. And I forgot to mention as well, because that race that Star Performance won at the back end of last season, he beat Star Performance in a race mm. uh, early in his career. Yeah, well, he was quite impressive when he did that Star Performance. And we know the Levin Classic over many years has produced many a good horse here in Hong Kong. There is some stiff opposition. Invincible Missile only had the one win from seven starts last season, uh, but there were a lot of very good runs in defeat. We know he's got an outstanding turn of acceleration at the end of his race. Yeah, he's been a bit unlucky in some of his runs. Now, it's uh, interesting to note that his wind did come fresh up as well, so he's in that state at the moment. I thought it was a really nice, easy trial. Barrier four is Zach Pern aboard, so I think he's a major chance. All right. The Poo Yi Handicap is race number seven. And it is a cracker with some nice horses on the way through. Victorium, I think, might potentially start favourite. Is that the way you see it, Paul? Yeah, I do. And I think he can win Victorium. So I think he's a nice progressive horse going through the grades. He's on top to beat Invincible Missile. King of Hearts. Now, his run two starts ago is really good behind Golden 60. He's already come out and won this season. And Sola Wawa. I think it's a really good race, this one. But 6 eight, three, five for me. I'll take an each way chance uh, with number one can't stop uh, the feeling for Jimmy Ting and Chad Schofield. Victorium, the toughest one to beat. Uh, Invincible Missile, his uh, model of consistency, uh, looked good in a barrier trial of thought. And uh, Solar YY, one, six, eight, and five. Oh, blood is thicker than water there. Long <laughs> shot, uh, can't stop the feeling. Be interesting to see how he runs. Um, I'm going to go with Invincible Missile. I think him and Victoria might be the two to fight it out. But uh, a very intriguing race uh, with uh, the future in mind.